you know, I never really ta- planned to talk about heaven, and I certainly never planned to talk about these people. But I'm reminded on a, on a daily basis that these people and many others who have come since them, they influenced me for Jesus. These people brought me my, bought me my first Bible. They took me to church when nobody else would. They, uh, they lived the Christian life in front of me. They were moral people who influenced me for Christ. When I saw them, I was really watching him. These people are the ones who helped me get to heaven. And so the inevitable question for me was, from the beginning really was, who's going to be there because of you? Who is going to be in heaven before because of us? The death rate here on earth is 100%. Mm. We're not getting out of this alive. I've noticed, and, and I'm sure everyone else has, that, that believers don't usually go to heaven immediately after they make that decision. We hang around for decades somehow. So it's an inevitable question. If heaven is a glorious place and it's a prepared place for prepared people and God is taking us there, why does he leave us here sometimes for a long time? I think the answer is so we can help everyone else get there. But that, that takes effort. We have to do something. It doesn't just come naturally. So very realistically, we've got to do those things. And in this book, I not only describe the people who helped me get to heaven, in detail, and I hope people fall in love with these people. They're really wonderful. I mean, people that are 18 years old and 82 years old, and had they were teachers of mine. They were classmates of mine. They were neighbors of mine. They were relatives of mine. And, and so the whole confluence of their influence in my life is what brought me to Christ at 16. I didn't know that 22 years later on a lonely highway, I was going to get run mm-hmm. over by a truck. So that's what happened. But who are we going to greet at the gates of heaven? So the last half of the book are questions and answers about heaven, what it's like. But more importantly, it's the challenge of what can we do from a practical standpoint to help other people get to heaven? Tell me just a little bit about maybe one or two of the people whom you discuss in this book. Sure. Um, One of them is a classmate of mine, uh, Mike Wood, who... um, uh, I, I love this guy. He was terrific. Uh, one of the best athletes I've ever seen in my life. He got a full scholarship to play football for a major university and was killed right after we graduated from high school. And, um, oh, my goodness, his funeral, hundreds and hundreds of people came. We were brokenhearted, devastated. We were confronted with our mortality because we were 18. And uh, Mike was an incredible influence on my life. He... Um, he, he was a longtime believer since he was like seven or eight years old. He was in my Bible study class at, at the church. He um, sat with me in lunch uh, at, in the cafeteria, he and his girlfriend, some other friends. So I really, I really uh, was admired him and respected him. And then he died. And uh, he was always such a faithful person uh, to Jesus and the church. And I just was touched by the fact that somebody that young and that devoted could be taken away, except that he influenced me a lot more than I could ever imagine. And I only knew that after he was gone. He met me at the gates of heaven. Uh, one of my favorite teachers met me at the gates of heaven, um, uh, Charlotte Janes. And she was always concerned about my salvation. Public school system, so she had to be very careful how she did that kind of thing. But she influenced me for Christ. And she influenced me as a speaker, uh, as a communicator, and uh, she taught me to be bold uh, in, in when I was speaking. Uh, she told me that your speech begins the moment you leave your seat to walk to the front. That may not sound like it's important, but it really is. People are watching you all the time. And people are watching us all the time, mm. Christians. So these, these are a couple of people who influenced me. And there's a lot more, obviously, uh, to them and about them. But that's kind of an example of what you're going to read when you read about the people who met me at the gates of heaven. 